Hello, my name is Mike Bassett and I would like to give you a short demonstration on the Virtual Masonic Organist software. Virtual Masonic Organist, as its name suggests, is a computer-based software program that allows anybody to uh, replicate the playing of an organ or music at a Masonic Lodge meeting. In the top left hand corner we've got three titles, file, if I click that it's save and exit edit that restores the default should you make any changes that you uh, regret dare I say and then want to go back to where you started from and then the help menu which will bring about a drop down PDF file with all the help themes now let's move down to the main screen it's divided up into a number of sections circumstantial mu music being the first one you'll see there's 12 buttons there with music titles I'll come back to that in a moment. Masonic Lodge meetings are generally uh, entitled after the uh, ceremony or the main part of the work that's the main work you're going to do for the evening, i.e. at first degree meeting, second degree meeting and so on. And that's where this button uh, was derived from. So we look at that and we click on are we doing a first degree, a second degree, a third degree or are we simply an installation meeting. So we'll click on first degree and then below you see four tabs above a list of boxes. The first one that's highlighted is the opening. Now that's what we do when we open the lodge and the number of items that we perhaps cover during a meeting. We decided we we're going to go for a first degree meeting and that tab is highlighted there and there's the main aspects of the initia in initiation. If I had selected a second degree meeting we'd have had second degree come up there and again all the main aspects of a second degree. Go back to the first because it's easier. Then after we've done all the work in the, in the lodge meeting we close and there are three three main parts of what we do when we close the lodge. You can add more if you wish and again I'll come back to this in a minute. And then after we close we go and relax in the festive board and there's a number of titles uh, of what we get up do in a um, festive board. First of all we sing grace and the national anthem and so on and so forth all things you'll I'm sure recognize so that basically covers the lodge meeting and the festive board afterwards but virtual masonic organist is much better than that in other words all those buttons you see with a title on them come with the music previously installed so it's all there except the titles that under circumstantial music they are not they're my preference they may not be yours and you can actually put on the music you wish so if we take number nine if you right click on that button you see that you get a edit button text or assign music but to button so if we click the edit text button we go to another window and let's just take that out the title that's in there already <coughs> excuse me there you see it blank so this is how you start you start with a blank button you right click on it and you want to put some music on there so we assign the music and in this case this Aileen open the file then we want to know what the music is on there so we edit the button text and uh, I think you know what I'm going to put. A L I N E, Aileen. OK, and there you see it appear on your screen. The most important thing to do after this is, of course, to save it. And you'll see now that the save box, because you made an alteration, is now highlighted, or rather, heavier print, not faded out. So we save that, and now that's assigned. You can do that process with any button on the it's blank. Anyone you like, you can click on there, right click and edit text button, assign music. So you can change all these if you wish. You can change the title, you can put different music on there, different versions, whatever. 
and that goes for every every button on the panel <coughs> underneath this panel is a volume button so as you play the music you'll see this one's 47 seconds long and we've played three seconds so that's how much you've played and that's how much you've got left it gives the person operating it an idea of how long the music is going to play for the pause button and the stop button the volume control is controlled by the mouse up and down or the right left up down arrow keys on your keyboard and the last button is well, what it says it is and that's what it will play so that is a quick demonstration of how virtual Masonic organist can be used if you'd like to go to the website www.virtualmasonicorganist.com you can download a free evaluation copy no time limit on it there are limitations on the software the music only plays for 10 seconds and you can't change any of the titles uh, see what you think of it show it to your brother in the lodge see what they think of it and uh, there's two things I can mention now is that uh, this could the your laptop computer can be easily connected to an existing organ just talk to the centre manager uh, a lead between five and ten pounds uh, will connect you up to an organ and you can use that as the amplifier for the your computer and the other thing is that uh, you don't need a license to use this software play downloading music and playing the music that's on here that has been confirmed so that is all I can say on this aspect. Thank you for listening.